Happy Friday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's today's tip. Sometimes there are some issues with files that may take a little longer than usual to troubleshoot. In situations like that, we often ask our customers to send their files into us if they're able. However, if the file in question is a drawing or an assembly, just sending the one file won't quite work. The assembly file wouldn't know what parts it was made of and would basically just fail to build. We need all associated files to be able to work properly. This is where the pack and go utility comes in handy. To get to that, simply click on a file and go to pack and go, or you could do this through your file explorer by right clicking and selecting pack and go. After doing that, it'll automatically show you all files that will be included and give you a few more options. There are some more files you can include up here, although you will only see the options to include suppressed components and decal options in the window through file, pack and go. It will also ask you for the file path to save them to under two different options of either folder or zip file. If you're doing this to send to us, it'll generally be easier to save as a zip file, which is what we'll do now. You'll also have the options to add prefixes or suffixes to each file. I'll add a quick prefix of quest underscore. There are a few other structuring options here as well, but let's keep it how it is for now. Once this is done, we'll have a zip file that will contain all related files and references needed for quick and effective troubleshoot. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and have a great weekend.